Hey guys, how are you doing? We are on our way to see the beautiful mansion in Apple Saddle, no, Apple, Upper Saddle River. <laughs> We're going to see this beautiful property listed for $2.5 million in Upper Saddle River in New Jersey. So even from the bathroom, you have a beautiful George, how'd you get down there? What the? You're gonna wake up and not even know what your name is away from time. What the? One thing that I like about Rene is he's very healthy. Look at that. The problem is how do, did you watch them? Yeah. Okay, keep your eyes on the road. <laughs> you know, you, you're looking at me. Oh my god. <laughs> You know what? I'm not gonna talk to you anymore. <laughs> 935 million. Do you know what you can do with that? Almost a billion dollars. Okay, so we are here. We're going to be approaching the cul de sac. Beautiful house. Um, as you could see, there are many mansions on the right side and the left side. These are beautiful houses. The neighborhood is fantastic one of the best areas of the state of New Jersey and I'm going to be enjoying the view. This is the property right here. This one is one of the last houses of the cul-de-sac, 4,400 square feet. So let me show it to you. As soon as I open the door of the Center Hall Colonial, you see this very spacious foyer. I would like to think that this would be the dining room. At least this is the room that I would use as such. I like the coffer ceilings, for example, and the Anderson bay windows that are so spacious that allows the light to seep through from the outside, giving a lot of light and a lot of personality to the property. Another thing that I like about this uh, room is the access, the immediate access to the kitchen. And I'm going to take you now to a first floor office. So here in the first floor you have a first floor office, very nice, very spacious. These two huge Anderson windows and access from the office to a private bathroom, which actually has a door from the other side. So if you have visitors, they don't have to come here they can access the bathroom through that door out there. Let me show you. See, I'm from here. I'm gonna take you to the kitchen. So the kitchen is very spacious. A lot of windows, the colors, the center aisle, the marble countertops, the cabinets. Everything was done with elegance. This this would be my favorite room if I would be living in this property. I would picture, for example, a, a round marble top table with six chairs, have my coffee, you know, visualize myself looking at the window, the sliding doors, the space, it's just incredible. I'm going to show you the outside later. The living room is very spacious with the cathedral ceilings, a marble round woodworking fireplace, very spacious, very roomy. And look at this view from here. Very open, very spacious. The space is semi-open. I'm gonna take you to the other side, something similar. This could be a family room where people can spend time after breakfast. You can, you have some couches and some sofas, the bay windows, <laughs> light all over. The last thing that I'm gonna show you is the backyard and the outside, the common grounds of the house. So now let me take you to the second floor. The property has five bedrooms, four full baths. Here is one, then this one is the master bedroom. Huge, great space. And one of the rooms that every lady would love, a walk-in closet.
Then the master bedroom has, look at all the windows, the private bathroom, a sink for him and for her. The builder is actually going to install glass. You have a second floor laundry room, another bathroom with double sink, huge bathroom and another bathroom here. Now let, let me take you to the basement. What could be a man's cave? <laughs> you took my thing! Huh? I taught you that one. He always wants to take credit away from me. <laughs> Play the clip. Man cave. No, he's not a man's cave. You just call it a man's cave. I it's think it would be a man's cave. Too, man cave right? It's too small for that. So here we are. 12 feet high ceilings, windows also. I'm six, six feet tall. See how the ceiling is? And you have also a private bathroom right here. Of course, the shower is going to be all glassed, rounded, marble, ceramic. Now I'm going to take you to my favorite part, the outside grounds. Now I'm going to show you my favorite part of this house. Look at that view. It is just amazing. Imagine in summertime, you can have barbecues, parties. The lower deck is where I would put all the barbecue equipment, right here. You have the, the main deck here coming from the sliding doors from the inside out. And here, I will take you to the swimming pool. I love this swimming pool because the deepest part is 10 feet deep, probably 15. See, the pool is very deep. I wouldn't go down there, but you can actually install the uh, diving board right there. And the surroundings of the pool are spacious enough to allow the tables, the chairs, and enjoy the view and the tranquility and the peace of the neighborhood. Breathtaking, breathtaking view. I'm sure all of you will agree that just the view alone is worth the $2.5 million. What I was suggesting to the owner is to, uh, to build a nice basketball court or a tennis court down there or even up here, because the space is just incredible. You can even come here and fish. And I want to show you the house from here. So that anyone can appreciate the view, the peace, the tranquility of the neighborhood, the river. It's just amazing. There you have it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, make comments about the video, like, and let me know what you want to see next.